We're now going to be working with ratios. This is lesson 6E. So again, if you've missed or skipped any of the previous videos in this GED Math playlist, just click the description for help. Okay? A ratio is a comparison of two numbers by using division. And ratios are written with the word two or a colon, that's these two dots, or as a fraction. To make pink paint, Emma mixed five cups of white paint to one cup of red paint. And the ratio of red to white paint was five to one. Five cups of white, one cup of red, five to one. We can write it five to one with the colon, or we can write it as a fraction as five over one. And we can reduce ratios to lowest terms, just like we did with fractions. So even though the ratio 5 to 1 looks like an improper fraction, there's a difference, and it's a big difference. Ratios are comparisons of two things, and it should not be changed to a whole or mixed number. It's not just part of a whole. It's a comparison. So if we had 10 to 2 as our ratio, or 10 over 2 as our ratio, it can be reduced to 5 to 1, or 5 to 1 written like this as a fraction. We just divide the 10 by 2 and the 2 by a 2 to get 5 over 1, see? We can write each ratio as a fraction in lowest terms. If we have 12 to 4, that could be reduced to 3 to 1. We just divide the 12 by 4 and the 4 divided by 4, and we get 3 to 1, see? But we don't turn that into a mixed number or a whole number, okay? And a ratio with a denominator of 1 is called a unit rate. And a rate is a ratio of two different kinds of units, like miles per gallon or miles per hour, dollars per hour. That's a rate. It's two different kinds of units. You're comparing miles and gallons, you're comparing miles or hours, and you're comparing dollars or hours. Or even a water faucet that has so many gallons per minute comes, comes out of the water hose of the faucet, okay? So you're comparing gallons to minutes, all right? So if we get 32 miles per gallon in our car, it would be a ratio of 32 to 1. We got 30 miles for every one gallon, see? If we drove 65 miles per hour, the ratio is 65 miles to one hour, see? 65 to 1. And we can find a unit rate by writing the ratio as a fraction and using division to reduce it. So if we drove 300 miles in five hours and we needed to write it as a unit rate, that means the denominator is going to be a 1, we can divide by this 5, by the denominator. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and now it's a unit rate. We've got our 1 as the denominator, so we have to divide the 300 by 5. See, it gets jealous. 300 divided by 5 is 60. Our unit rate is 60 to 1. See? And some ratio problems are multi-step. We might have to figure out one of the numbers of the ratio. So Lisa baked 24 pies for the bake sale. Of the 24 pies, six were chocolate and the rest were fruit. So what's the ratio of the number of fruit pies to chocolate pies? So before we can even answer this, we have to do 24 minus 6 to find out that there were 18 fruit pies. We know the total, we know how many were chocolate, but it's asking for the ratio of fruit to chocolate. So we have to do subtraction first to find out how many were fruit. So there were 18 fruit to 6 chocolate. It's 18 to 6, and we can turn this into a unit rate by dividing the denominator by 6. So we have to divide the numerator by 6. That'll make a denominator of 1, and we'll have 3 to 1, the ratio of Fruit to chocolate pies is 3 to 1. See? On a math test, Tala answered 48 correct and 2 incorrect. What was the ratio of incorrect answers to total answers? Well, now we have to add the 48 and the 2 to get the total answers. So there are 50 questions. 48 were correct and 2 were incorrect. So she's got... The ratio of incorrect answers to total answers, she got two incorrect, the total was 50. So the ratio of incorrect to total is 2 to 50, which can be reduced to 1 to 25. See? What was the ratio of correct answers to total answers? 48 were correct, there were 50 total. 
that's 48 to 50, which can be reduced to 24 to 25, see? What was the ratio of incorrect to correct? Well, two were incorrect, 48 were correct, so it's 2 to 48, or it could be reduced to 1 to 24, 1 24th, see? We can divide both of these by 2, and we'll get 1 over 24, see? Okay, so now you should be ready to do the skill focus on page 83. Remember that labeling parts of the ratio will help keep the numbers in their correct order. So if you're trying to remember fruit to chocolate or miles per gallon, put a label of miles and gallon or fruit and chocolate and label it to help yourself, okay? Now we're going to be solving proportions. That's lesson 6F. And if you need more help, there's really good videos from 6th grade, 5.1 and 5.2, and there's going to be links to the previous videos in this lesson. In this description, all you have to do is click on them to help you, okay? So, right at your fingertips, all right? We're getting close to the end of lesson six, and lesson seven is adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions, so. Okay, let's solve some pr proportions in the next one, and I will see you there. Bye.